This is the plaintiff, Sean Jackson. He says he unknowingly rented an illegal apartment from the scamming defendant, and she had the audacity to evict him out of the street. She treated him like a criminal, which is quite ironic considering she was found to be renting a flop house by the building's department. He was wronged by the defendant and is suing her for his damages, totaling $5,000. This is the defendant, Roberta. She says she rented a basement apartment to a woman, and the plaintiff, the woman's friend, showed up one day and never left. The man claimed to be a tenant of hers when he never was. She had to call the police to get him to leave. She has no idea why this guy's suing her. He has no lease with her, and she most certainly doesn't owe him any money. She's accused of rubbing a renter the wrong way. All parties, please use your right hand. If you see it, come to order, please. Let it get time, Bench Warren, Yana. Thank you, Douglas. You're Sean welcome. Jackson? Yes. You are suing Roberta for $5,000. Uh, according to you, you're out more than that, but that exceeds the statutory maximum. To get your security deposit back, plus eight months of rent that you paid her that you don't feel you should have paid her. Yes. What's going on? Um, I rented a basement from the defendant. I rented a basement room from her. And it was basically a cellar basement. It's illegal. It was told by the HPD and the NYC building that they're not supposed to be down. No, no tenant is supposed to be renting a home down there. How much are you paying for the basement? I was paying six fifty a month. Who else was living there? How many people? Um, it was another tenant, Omar. Was he helping you pay it? No, that was oh, another tenant downstairs. Yes, I was All paying right. my own separate six fifty. Okay, did you have the whole basement, or you were sharing? No, it was a, it was a two bedroom basement. So you had one bedroom, and and yes. Omar had yes. the other bedroom. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, and so at some point after living there for how long do you find out it's illegal? Um, we found out around July, I believe. I have noticed here a first. Uh, officer from HPD came out and told us that he advised me, well, you shouldn't HPD be paying rent. HPD being the housing police? Yes. I have the paper right here. He advised you not to pay rent, that it was illegal? Yes. And All right, so be did you pay July out. rent? No. You already hadn't paid July rent? No, I was going to pay July rent. Okay, so, so you didn't pay rent. July, and no. then you stayed there July? And I told the defendant that I would be moving out on September 1st. Oh, so you stayed there July, August? September. And then did you leave in September? Yes. Did I you did. leave the 1st? Yes, because the vacate orders is right here. And it tells us on the ninth that we had to be out anyway. All right, and you are suing for the security deposit back. Yes. Because you did not damage the place and you want it back. Yes. But why are you suing for the eight months rent back? I I was it was a mistake. I don't really want to sue her technically for the eight months rent. They just told me it wasn't gonna take it off. But as far as the deposit, I am suing for the deposit. Okay, yes. because you know the rent, even if it's illegal, the yeah, law doesn't allow since understand. you lived it out, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross that part out yes. and then ask you why won't you give him his security deposit back? Your Honor, I'm not familiar with this gentleman. I did not enter into an agreement with a Sean Jackson. The basement was rented to a Mindy. The first time I saw him was the Wednesday after September 9th because I got the call from the Department of Buildings that a vacate order was placed on my basement property. So I went there to change the keys. All right, but wait, the vacate order was placed on your basement property when? On September 9th. He says it was July. It was placed on September 9th, the vacate order. Was, Meaning people had to vacate by September 9th, but in July, you knew that the housing department was on to you. In July, I did get a okay. notice from And HPD. you know that it's an illegal apartment. You're not allowed to rent it out. And you were making 12, how much on that illegal apartment? $1,200, $1,300 a month? I did not collect any rent after the July's Yes, notice. I know. But before that, you were making $1,300 a month for how many years without having yes. the... Yeah, no, it was less than a year. I was making oh, okay. the 13. All right, so um, according to you, you've never met this man? Uh, first Until time. the Wednesday after? Yes, the Wednesday after when I went so to security. So are you building. testifying that he didn't give you a security deposit? I don't have any evidence or memory of him giving me any money. Okay. Uh, who do you say the basement was rented to? It was rented to a young lady named Mindy. Mindy what? I don't recall her last name. Wow, you've got quite the flop house going there. Who's Mindy? Um, the tenant that lived downstairs with her boyfriend, Omar. That's what I'm talking about. 
and I was down there too from November. They so who would you well. give your rent to, her or I Mindy? I deposited in Ms. Roberta's uh, Chase account, which I have right here with all the receipts. She told me, and she the one that gave me the key to come in there, but she doesn't know me today. But I... you've never met this guy before until September or whatever? She the one that called the cops on me. I have a video of her calling the cops on me. And telling was it me before I September? Be in... It was actually before September. What day is she calling the cops on you? Um, the day I was retrieving, retrieving my belongings. Yeah, but that's going to be September. Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. No, do, you have, do you have some I evidence have, of communication have, with her or anything else? Yeah, she, before, she had a text message. Yeah. Hold on. Before September 9th? Yeah, text message right here. She was she, well, I told her I was going to place harassment charges. It's our number right here. Do they predate September 9th? Yes. Perfect. Let's see. Here's more August hold on. 9th. Here, this one more. August 9th. Oh, look at that. From Roberta. So he's got you in his phone book on August 9th, where you ask, when will you be moving? And then he responds, what date, or this may be still you, what date the city yeah, gives you to move? Yeah, those are all her text messages, yes. She was, that's when I told her I was going to place harassment charges on her because she kept harassing me. So okay. tell me how you know, have his phone, and you're texting him and all this on August 9th. Well, I didn't know. His name was Sean Jackson. I oh, never knew his name. You told me you met the guy three days after uh, the Wednesday after the, the I did. So that turn, well, I don't know how you have a guy's phone number and that you do know who Mindy. he is, even if you don't remember what his name is. Because on August 9th, you're texting him about that. So I guess you do. He's not some squatter. You know who he is because you're saying in the text, "I need to be able to tell the city that you're a tenant," right? Well, what I was trying to clarify, because Mindy told me there were other people living in the basement. So I said, Mindy, provide me with the numbers of everyone that's living down there. And, and I sent the text to find out, OK, if, what's your Somebody phone Somebody gave you so a security contact. deposit. Who gave you a security deposit? Mindy. Did you move in at the same time as Mindy? No, they moved in a year before me. I moved in November. They was already there. And it's your position that you gave her another security deposit? No, I never gave Mindy any money. I gave no, Roberta. No, that you gave Roberta? I gave Roberta $1,300 on November. I have the receipt right here. That's Let how me much see the receipt. receipt. So when you rented the place, did you meet Roberta? Um, yeah, she came in her uh, affinity. She drives a silver, silver infinity. Infinity? Yes. Okay. And so she met you outside and I what? The gave property you a... with the property with, as well with the uh, real estate. She works with a real estate broker. I paid him and I paid her. What, you paid the broker? Yes, I paid her to, a broker to get in. That's her friend. That's who she works with. Is the with. broker That's your friend? That's who she gets tennis from, too. I have His a name broker. is Basil. <laughs> I guess yeah. he wants to answer my questions. Uh, I have a broker. And He's... did your broker bring him? Yes, I that's don't what recall. About. Okay, what is wrong with your brain cells? Because I need them to all hold hands right now. You come into court, look me in the eye and say, I don't know who this guy is. Essentially, I have no idea who this guy is. Now I find out that you're yeah, the one who yeah, rented yeah. him, not Mindy, and yeah, that you had a broker and that he paid a broker fee and that you met him outside and gave him the keys? I did not meet him outside to give him any keys to my property. <laughs> did you have a friend who's a broker who rented to him? I have a broker. He's not a friend. And he certainly finds tenants for me. I do. Is this one of the people he found you? I don't recall. <coughs> well, we're, we're going to try to do something to jog your memory, woman, because it's a little distasteful that you have such selective memory. Yeah, now, I'm sorry. seeing money orders. He's certainly got money orders for 1300 which would be exactly double the rent. And he certainly paid them to someone with money orders you don't know. It's her, her account ends at 3 5. I have Chase receipts. they all in there. Let, let me see the other stuff. Let me see, let me see it, baby. Let me see it. Because I'm, I'm getting, I cannot tell you how excited I'm getting. <laughs> how was the Thank actual you. unit that the, that the housing department had to close it down? Besides being illegal, because was it a problem? The, everything was a problem. Roaches, floods, more manipulative bugs. Uh, Mice running through the ceiling, heating problems. Why'd you problems. stay? Um, I didn't have nowhere else to go. I was homeless, and I didn't get a lease from her, so I returned back homeless again. And she just didn't do nothing right from the beginning. What's this a picture of? A video What's, of? Uh, videos. I have videos of leaks, videos of things crawling, everything. Like, I had a circuit. I almost woke up with a fire because I only had one circuit working in my house. Is this a ceiling I'm looking at? Yes, that's a, the cellar. Sis. I'm in a cellar. This is the ceiling. That's leaks. Everything. I dealt with that numerous times. That's why I have so many leaked videos. She never came and replaced one. Just patched it up, little uh, uh, patch of work. That's all she did. She did this to every tenant. She overcrowded the house. She made rooms out of no room. She turned the dining room and the kitchen into rooms. 
I woke up with feces in my uh, shower. How, oh, because it backed up? Yeah, feces in my shower, the pee in my shower, numerous things. Couldn't take a shower a couple of days. Who called for the inspection? I have no clue. That's oh, why I feel uh, like you she... You should have been the one who called. I, that's why I feel like she takes this what out is on that? me because... Oh, that's the water that came from the ceiling. I was just showing how much water was getting collected, how much it was doing, you know? He's just showing that he has... Uh, Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey. 11 years so. Should a tenant be allowed to rent an illegal slum if he wants to or she wants to um, to save money? What do you say? Um, it's a tough one. I mean, not if it's not fair living condition. It isn't. Let's say it's not, but the tenant wants it. What do you say? I'd say no, because maybe they could possibly lead to maybe an unsafe condition, and then it could get out of control from Fair there. point. Fair point. Um, it leads to unhealthy uh, lifestyle including the fact that it shows that probably the, the landlord doesn't is not interested in cleaning it up itself. Himself. Maybe so. That's a good point. Kind of a disincentive to fixing it. Going inside the courtroom. Can I hear from you? Because <laughs> you look like a slumlord right now. Like a vicious, illegal slumlord. Because you're not only renting this place out, but you're renting it out in that condition. So talk to me. Defend yourself. Your Honor, I'm not sure what property that is that he's showing a video on. All I can say is that you've on never met him before. September, that's like no, Your Honor, on September 13th, this gentleman was still on my premises despite a vacate order, wow. and I had to contact the police you to remove him. You think that's the greater sin? You think him still being there for three days, if that's true, or nine days, or whatever it is, you think that's the great sin we're looking at right now, as opposed to that you would allow a fellow human being to live in this filth that you don't have a legal right to rent out anyway just so you could make more money? You think that's the greater sin? Your Honor, I need to stop hearing your voice. I can't hear your voice for another second. You are despicable. And you know what? Not only are you going to get your security deposit back, I know you gave up. You told me, oh, it's right, fine, fine, the rent that I paid, right. No, you shouldn't have to live like that. So I'm going to order her to pay you back one month's rent for having to live like that. So you're going to get $1,300. Thank you. That is my judgment. Thank pay you. the man. So the plaintiff gets $1,300 back. Roberta, the defendant's coming out of the courtroom. Were you worried about losing? Well, you know, it's unfortunate that they have a recording of an unknown property. I certainly don't keep my properties in such a manner. But if But you're claiming that wasn't your house? No, I don't believe it was from my property. Did you ever go in there and look? I mean, come on, why do you think he went around some other house finding that? I couldn't imagine someone paying rent and still living under those conditions if it were I true. I can't either, neither can the judge. Yeah. So, bottom line. Is that your place or not? You're, you're claiming it wasn't your place. I don't know what place that what was in the video. Know? I know what, what my don't... place looks like. It certainly didn't look like that. Well, apparently it does. That's what we all think. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Kind of lame excuse. I don't know. Mr. Jackson, she's saying that's not your where you were saying. She can say whatever she wants. We know what's going on. Yeah. That's her place. I mean, by the judge, we be good today. I can't believe you stayed there. You know, I mean, circumstances yeah, when, and everything. You I need know. a place to stay. I'd rather be there in the street. Yeah, no question. Well, look, thank congratulations, you. okay? You. Things thank going you. better now? Yes, things definitely okay, going good. better. Thank All right, you. thank you. Hmm. Harvey? Okay, Doug, the fact is a tenant, even if a tenant says, I want to rent that slum, landlords can't do it. Apartments have to be legal, and the fact is this tenant didn't want a slum. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.